Hi, my name is Alex Dutton. Uh, I was a summer law clerk at the Juvenile Law Center in the summer of 2012 and followed that up with a social work internship uh, with the Youth Engagement Program in 2013 and 2014. And I think one of my favorite memories from my summer there as a law student was, and this was my first year, um, after my first year of law school, my first summer, and I remember that was the year that Miller versus Alabama came down in the middle of June. And to me, this was the first time I, I got to work hands-on with important legal issues. And I remember Marsha walking in maybe the day or the day after that the decision came down and we, the interns had printed the decision out. We were like reading through it over and over again. And Marsha walks into the room and says, and points at the opinion on my desk and says, oh yes, this language is from our brief. And it was at that moment that I realized what JLC had been doing for years leading up to the decision in Miller versus Alabama. Um, and that was the first time that legal writing came alive to me. We were writing about things that were important to us. And uh, I, I will always remember that moment and always remember sitting in Marsha's office as she directed us to research certain points, um, things we probably never would have thought about, um, but she was such a creative legal thinker and had us going in all different directions once that decision came down that it became a sort of turning point in my legal experience from sort of the static of law school and to something much more dynamic um, in the real world that, that JLC was clearly pioneering at that time. After speaking with Bob about the development of, of Juvenile Law Center over the past 40 years, it became very clear to me that not only a, that Juvenile Law Center in its own development sort of uh, paralleled the development of the children's rights movement in this country. I'd like to wish everyone at Juvenile Law Center a happy 40th anniversary. It's very well deserved and I hope to see everyone soon continuing the work of Juvenile Law Center.